scientific research centre in the heart of the largest unbroken tract of forest in East Africa that's also home to over 600 chimpanzees. It might sound like the start of an adventure film, but as we'll see in today's episode of RZSS Goes Wild, it's actually the setting for one of our longest standing conservation partnerships with the Bodongo Conservation Field Station in Uganda. <laughs> Chimpanzees are one of our closest relatives, but like many other species on our planet, their future hangs in the balance. We've seen an estimated 70% decline in chimp numbers since the start of the 20th century, and that decline continues today. But it's not all bad news. For the past 15 years, the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland has been partnered with an incredible project in Uganda that has been collecting amazingly valuable data on chimpanzees and other species. The Bodongo Conservation Field Station is situated in the heart of 435 kilometres squared intact tropical rainforest in Uganda, in East Africa. Bodongo is home to between 600 and 700 chimpanzees that are broken into six communities. Three of these communities are habituated to humans and have been studied for many years to help us better understand chimp ecology and behaviour. Dr. Fred Baboatera is the current director of the Bodongo Field Station, and I'm going to hand over to him to explain some of the valuable research that's currently happening there. The Bodongo Conservation Field Station has been undertaking research in the forest. Uh, the flagship uh, chip parties as uh, one of the species that we study, but quite a number of other species, uh, birds, amphibians, looking at how the forest has changed over time and how the anthropogenic disturbances have influenced the ecology of this, uh, of this wonderful forest. The first thing that blew me away about Bodongo Conservation Field Station is just this feeling that life surrounds you on all four sides. The thrum of the cicadas, the canopy, the trees up above, the rustling of animals in it, the screech of tree hyrax at night, a chimpanzee ambling through the field station centre. It's just a really special place in the middle of the rainforest. The work at Bodongo Field Station goes far beyond research and reaches outside the forest into the local communities around it, many of whom traditionally relied on the forest for their livelihoods. Most importantly, we also engage in conservation with the communities. And the conservation work is aimed at protecting this unique forest, but also providing uh, communities with alternatives, especially communities on the forest edge that are dependent on this uh, forest for, for their livelihoods. We work with um, over uh, 3,000 um, households in this area to try and promote uh, conservation initiatives that are, are compatible with uh, Conservation. The team are also working really closely with the local communities that live on the edge of the forest. They're working with them to look at alternative livelihoods so that these communities can live sustainably with the forest that they depend on. Our ZSS's partnership with Bodongo Field Station is centred around providing core financial support and occasional advice from our own conservation management experience when requested, but we also learn a lot from working with Fred and his team too. Our partnership with Bodongo is on full display at Edinburgh Zoo in our own Bodongo chimpanzee facility. Here, animal team leader Donald Gao explains what makes this facility and the animals inside it so special. The Bodongo Trail has, uh, was completed in 2008 and it was really the biggest project that the zoo's ever embarked on. Um, it cost five and a half million pounds to build and um, it really is a world-class facility for uh, housing chimps. So we have a really good social, big social group of chimps here and they range in age from little Cindy who is uh, coming up for three months old and up to some of our older residents who are in their early 40s. It's a really good enclosure for chimps. It gives them the opportunity to behave like chimps and that's exactly what we, what we want. It gives them a lot of choice and control over um, not only where they spend their time within the enclosure but who they spend their time with which is really important for social animals like chimpanzees. We named our building here after the Dong Forest um, because of our close links with the Dong Conservation Field Station. There's lots of research that goes on out there and here and also research can, researchers can come here and learn research techniques uh, learn chimp behaviours, learn how to identify individual chimps here at the facility before they go out to Uganda to do their, their field research. 
And one of the really important parts of the uh, Bodongo Trail is it, it has lots of visitors coming in and it really kind of creates that link uh, between the, the good work, the good conservation work that is going on out in Uganda and the work here that we do with the chimps who are part of the European Breeding Programme as well. Like many countries, Uganda is also being affected by the COVID-19 outbreak. But there, this pandemic could also have implications for the forests and the species that live within it, as well as for the human population. Certainly this lockdown has had a huge impact on what we do, on the revenues that we, uh, that we receive, and this has greatly impacted or will greatly impact uh, uh, our work. For instance, during this lockdown, because of the reduced incomes of the local communities, we do expect a number of people to turn their attention or their focus to the forest uh, for survival. And this will put the forest back under a lot more pressure. As with all of our conservation projects, our partnership with the Bodongo Field Station is part funded by visitor admissions to both of our zoos. With those zoos closed, that funding is no longer coming in for us or our partners in Uganda. But you can still help conserve the species you love in the wild by clicking the link you can see here or above or below this video and donating whatever you can to our conservation work. In the next episode of RZSS Goes Wild, we're right back here in Scotland looking at our work with wildcats, the highland tiger that's clinging on by a claw. I will see you then. <laughs>